It's your girl Missy here back with another one here to discuss Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. Today we are talking about tag team partners Jenny Sullivan and Blanca Rodriguez who will be joining forces to take down Tariq and the Tejadas on a Rico. I will be going into their expanded description so if you feel like you want to wait to see this information as it is revealed on the show then this is your warning. In Power Book 2 Ghost Season 2 Episode 10 we saw Jenny Sullivan lose her case. Thanks to Brayden and his testimony, Tariq's charges were dropped, but Jenny will not let this go. Shortly after losing her case, she met with Cooper Sachs and told him that Lauren Baldwin was dead. She felt like it was her fault because she did remove Lauren's protective custody. She also feels like Carrie's death was a little bit too perfect for her to have taken her own life. Sachs admits that he wanted to nail James St. Patrick so bad that he planted evidence against him and got caught. Sachs tries to convince Jenny to take the loss and walk away, but in her eyes, if she did that, then she would feel like an accomplice. At the end of the season 2 finale, Sachs tells Jenny that he thinks Davis is working with the Tejadas and he is going to help her get justice for Lauren and Carrie. Sax knows that if Davis, Tariq, or Kane knows that he is a CI, he is as good as dead. Jenny Sullivan's mission in Season 3 will be to take down Tariq St. Patrick, the Tejadas, and Davis McLean. And she will team up with Blanca Rodriguez to help her out. Let's take a look at Jenny Sullivan's expanded character description for Season 3. With her reputation and ego signed by her loss in the Jabari Reynolds murder case, Jenny Sullivan is hell-bent on exposing Tariq, the Tejadas, and Davis McLean's drug enterprise. And she's got a secret up her sleeve that might just get her there. With Sachs as her CI and Agent Blanca Rodriguez partnering with her to form a federal task force, Jenny seems to have almost all she needs to take them all down on a RICO charge and finally bring Tariq St. Patrick to justice. So before we get into Blanca, what do you all think Jenny's secret can be? If you watched my video yesterday, I talked about Kiki Travis. She will be Brayden's new boo. And as I stated, it is still very early, but Kiki Travis is keeping a secret as well. She is a VP at Weston Holdings and trying to get intel on Brayden and Tariq. Could her secret possibly be that she's working with Jenny to get information on Brayden and Tariq? This would literally be a really good twist. Also, the fact that Sax is Jenny's CI, Sax is going to have a very busy season. And he's putting his life on the line by helping her. So Sax run on power may be coming to an end, which I really hope not because I really like Sax a lot. So Sax goes to see McLean and tells him that they have blood on their hands. McLean let Tariq hear the wire and Sax questions if he also let Kane hear it as well. He informs Davis that Lauren Baldwin is dead. With Carrie being dead as well and both being tied up in the wire, it does not look good that Davis allowed Tariq to hear that wire. Davis is adamant that he would not put Carrie's life in danger. Although Davis took money from Kane to Hada, Sax framed James St. Patrick for murder. So Sax is funny to me because he is always on this high horse when he has done quite a bit of dirt as well. They are really one and the same. It is going to be very interesting to see these two in season three, especially since Sax is definitely going to have some dirt on McLean very soon. Moving to Blanca Rodriguez. In the season two finale, after Monet shoots Dante, law enforcement shows up and we learn that Dante was Blanca's CI. All the cameras were wiped, but the detectives did recover a still image from a long shot in the lobby. And there she sees Tariq St. Patrick. For her, this is golden. She is going to do everything in her power to take him down. Let's dive into Blanca Rodriguez' expanded character description for Season 3. Power OG Blanca Rodriguez is no stranger to the St. Patrick history with the law. Having had no luck sticking a conviction to any member of the family, after the death of her CI, Dante Spears, Blanca sees an opportunity to finally put a St. Patrick behind bars for good when she meets Jenny Sullivan, 
who suggests they combined forces to form a RICO task force against the drug enterprise. Y'all, they are about to get busy this season. So how do you all feel about Blanca Rodriguez returning and joining season three? I have not liked her since the original Power. I don't think it was her personally, but something about her voice and the clenching of her teeth, it was just a little bit too much for me. But she is back with a vengeance and she is more determined than ever to finish the business of the past. So Jenny will be using her eyes and ears, Sacks, to gather as much information as she can on Tariq, the Tejadas, and Davis McLean. Sax is putting his life on the line by helping Jenny, so like I said, it may be over for Sax. Jenny is going to need more than just Sax. Her secret could most certainly be another CI, possibly Kiki Travis. Another possible secret that Jenny could be hiding is the truth about what happened to Lauren. It is only a matter of time before law enforcement finds out that it was indeed murder and not an accident. Something about the way Jenny approached Sax when she told him about Lauren, it seemed a little bit off to me. Other things that we need to keep in mind involving law enforcement and the attorneys, there is also Whitman. Whitman will be digging into the death of Zeke and Carrie, and Monet better come up with a game plan because they are coming for her behind the death of Carrie. We will get into Monet soon, but I want to see how she's going to dig her way out of this whole mess that she is in. A lot of people are not talking about Monet, but Monet is going to have some problems in season three. Also, the fact that McLean has Sax helping him with his brother Theo Rollins' case. And Sax will uncover the truth that it was McLean who committed the crime and not Theo Rollins. That's when things are going to heat up. Sax will use this to his advantage. And once McLean finds out that Sax knows the truth, Sax is in even more danger. Jenny and Blanca together is about to be messy and I am here for it. So they will work together and they will try to take Tariq down. Jenny has a secret up her sleeve and will do everything in her power to make sure this Rico sticks. What do you all think Jenny Sullivan's secret is? Comment and let me know. And how do you think Tariq and the Tejadas will be able to avoid this Rico case? Do you think somebody is going to prison by the end of season three? I know it's early, but what are your early thoughts and predictions? Also, which power character do you want to hear about the most? Who should I do a video on next? I'm trying to hit up all the characters before season three starts. Uh, but if there's someone you want to see or something you want to discuss, please let me know. All right, cousins, that's all I got for today. Please comment your thoughts and predictions. All opinions are welcome. See you later. Woo!